Good day, everyone. Yeah, welcome back to another episode on my epic motorcycle road trip around South Africa. Yeah, today I'm uh, leaving the Storms River village and I'm uh, riding today up to uh, Addo. Okay, so before I tell you exactly where I'm going today, we're uh, going to cross the Storms River Bridge, which is also known as the Paul Sauer Bridge. This uh, bridge is about 120 meters above the Storms River. It was uh, constructed in the 1950s and uh, construction ended in 1956. Uh, at that time it was also the highest uh, arch bridge in Africa. And uh, yeah, it stayed the highest bridge uh, until the Blue Crown Bridge was built in 1984. So today I'm riding to Edo which is uh, roughly about 200 kilometers from the Storms River village. I'm also going to try to stay off the highway most of the way. Uh, there's a small part here, there is no alternative uh, road, but in a short while I'm going to turn off this uh, N2 highway, also still known as the Garden Route. But then I'm going to take the parallel road, which is uh, running next to this road, it's called the R102. And uh, this road goes through some of the uh, farmlands here, many, many uh, dairy farms in this area, and also all the tree plantations, pine trees and eucalyptus uh, tree plantations. Uh, this road runs all the way through to Jeffreys Bay. I'm going to make a little stop over over there. And then from there on I'm going to continue yeah, through to uh, Eitenhagen, and up to Edo. Tonight I'm not going to stay at Edo, the national park, but I'm actually staying at uh, Kudu Ridge, which is another lodge where I used to stay at when I was doing uh, overland tours. I had some very awesome people, and uh, we always got uh, so along so well. Uh, they always made me feel so much at home there. But I really missed the company, and uh, yeah, since I haven't been uh, uh, doing tours, uh, also uh, yeah, I haven't uh, been able to come around this area, so it's uh, been uh, more than two years that I haven't seen them. I'm really looking forward to seeing them as well. Yeah, unfortunately, they've also been very much affected uh, by all the COVID, and uh, yeah, they haven't been able to uh, receive any visitors for a very long time. And even though they are open now, they're still not uh, getting any visitors or any income. Here you can see the route that I am taking, I'm going all the way from Storms River Village through Jeffreys Bay, Eitenhagen, and then uh, up to Kudu Ridge. The previous day was so sunny and nice and warm, 
I mean, today was uh, w when I woke up it was actually raining and cloudy and yeah, at this point I actually had to stop and put on some warm clothes and I was starting to get really really cold. So this is uh, Jeffreys Bay. Yeah, this uh, little town started out as a surfer's a hippie's village in the 1960s. And it was uh, made famous by a surfer's film. It was uh, also called The Endless Summer. Yeah, Jeffreys Bay is uh, number two on the five best uh, surf spots in the world. And uh, Jeffreys Bay also attracts many surfing tourists every year. Also, uh, many bathers just do its uh, blue flag beaches with ad abundant seashells. And Jeffrey's Bay is also host to many uh, beautiful restaurants with uh, very lovely uh, seafood and calamari. Uh, here, uh, around Jeffrey's Bay, there are also three uh, river lagoons which attract many water birds and uh, also water sports enthusiasts. <laughs> Such a beautiful riding here through the Eastern Cape. Riding, uh, passing over a few very beautiful rivers, uh, over beautiful bridges. Uh, the Eastern Cape is also known as the home of the Kosa people. It's uh, the second largest population in South Africa. And they were also uh, moved uh, over uh, to the north, over the Kay River. Uh, yeah, around the 1820s, the uh, British actually sent uh, 4,000 uh, people, settlers, to go to Port Elizabeth to uh, come and settle in this area to form a barrier between the Kosa people and the Cape Colony that was uh, at that time ruled by the British. 
Well, we are riding now. It's actually not far away from Port Elizabeth, where there's also a very big harbor. So we can see many of the big trucks that's uh, on their way transporting goods there to the harbor. Port Elizabeth is also known as the friendly city or the windy city. It's also the second largest uh, city on the Eastern Cape here of South Africa and also the capital of the Eastern Cape province. Yeah, then we crossed uh, this bridge as well, the Van Starens Bridge. Some of you might know this bridge. The uh, bridge actually has quite a sad story. And uh, that's why there's also so many barriers uh, built up on the sides of the bridge. Yeah, as I drove over this uh, bridge, I also just had to stop for a moment to uh, say a little prayer and think about people who have it very hard in their lives and uh, sometimes don't see a way out. Yeah, then also having to ride about uh, 20 kilometers on a dirt road uh, before I got to Kudu Ridge, I had another four kilometers or so to ride onto the lodge of Kudu Ridge on the new uh, Edo Wildlife Reserve. Uh, there's a very beautiful deck here on top of the bar at Kudu Ridge. You can see so far on a clear day, you can uh, really see all the way down there to the Sundays River Valley up to where the ocean is. And in the other direction, you can see all the way into Edo National Park even. A few years ago I was coming here with tour groups and then we were also doing walks here around the lodge. It was also very educational. You could find uh, many of the small species and uh, small plants that you normally don't see very easily when you were uh, going in a car or on a motorbike. And the owners of Kudu Ridge took me on a drive around the reserve to go and show me a little bit how things have changed and uh, some of the developments that has been happening in the last few years. I was so very happy to meet these people. They were always so friendly to me and since the first day I met them they made me feel so at home here at Guru Ridge. I really miss this place. Uh, thank you for very much for letting me come and stay here again at your place. Yeah, for uh, your hospitality has always been yeah, so uh, warm. And I, yeah, I always uh, enjoyed my time talking to, to them. But, uh, I really enjoyed catching up. I can really recommend anyone coming to Edo to uh, come and stay over for a night here at Kudu Ridge. Okay, here we go to the end of the video again. If you like my video, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next video. We'll see you next time.